I am very excited today because I just got a new camera and it's extremely scary and intimidating. <laughs> so we're gonna try and film something here. This is actually my sketchbook from when I was 14 years old. Um, I actually have previously shared this sketchbook with you before. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> If you're interested in checking that out, I'll have it unlisted in the description. I posted that four years ago, but I'm pretty sure I was 10 years younger then. It's kind of funny to watch. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at uh, what's inside the sketchbook. This is a self-portrait of me with my original character, Magna Girl. I'm obviously thinking about her. <laughs> she was my only character at the time. Um, and the date as well. So I filled this from April of 2008 to June of 2008. Magna Girl drooling over the Stanley Cup. And then there's like a little security dude. She wants to steal it. I was very obsessed with hockey at the time. I'm pretty sure drawing was something I did to just fill the time between watching hockey games. <laughs> I also love princesses. I don't think I'll ever not. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the original Blubfish. Look at them. And mermaids. I don't know why she's holding a key. That's, uh, I don't know. But I do like the details of like the pearls on these outfits. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Magna Girl sketches. I really like this. There's a lot of personality with it. I think one of the things that changes a lot in this sketchbook is the way I drew eyeballs. <laughs> Magna girl burning the bum of the Nashville Predators player. <laughs> a girl catching a baseball, but I don't know what, she's looking at something else. I don't think she's actually gonna catch that ball. <laughs> oh, this one's funny, cause I specifically remember I drew it and I was like, oh, her legs are too long and her butt's too high. So I added a cushion and then I was like, wait, now her hand's too high. So I added a squished can of Coke. <laughs> it's actually spilling out, so that's, that's funny. <laughs> oh, here I drew a picture to celebrate that the Red Wings got into the second round of the playoffs. It's like a hockey cheerleader. It's a lot of anime influence in there. I, I drew the logo. That's pretty crazy. I got really good at drawing the Red Wings logo by the time I stopped drawing the Red Wings logo. <laughs> this is actually really creative. I like this one. That's not like anything that I draw. It's almost like samurai, but also like not. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I like the like swooshy background thing with the clouds. Oh, I drew a fur. Are you kidding me? Wow. I don't remember that. Well, there we go. <laughs> it happened. Uh, the sketches are very sparse in this. Like nowadays, like I buy my own sketchbooks, so I'm like, I have to fill every space with something or I'll feel like I wasted my money. <laughs> But this, like, there's just sort of random sketches here and there, and I didn't sketch on the back page, which I guess a lot of people say don't sketch on this because then your sketches get, like, mushed up. But, like, I don't know. Paper, I'm going to draw on it. Sorry. <laughs> but this is uh, very crazy and not like anything I usually draw. I'm pretty sure that I drew the eyeball first and then tried to draw a face around it, and then I was like, it kind of looks like a bunny, and then I drew it as a bunny. <laughs> and then gave him an eye patch because I couldn't draw another eye that looked the same. <laughs> this was a Mark Crilly tutorial, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if you had told me back then, hey, you should post your own art to YouTube. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Let's turn the page before I like, actually cry or something. <laughs> this was a drawing for my mom on her birthday, and she loved it. And I really like the way the eyes turned out on this. Those are really pretty. Thank you, Mark Crilly. <laughs> well, this is an original character of mine because I, at the time, like every day, I would watch um, <laughs> I Dream of Genie, like at least one episode. So I just had a character who was a genie. This I believe is from the monster book of manga and he has abs for days. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> uh, I believe this is from that same how to draw book. Everybody's probably used that by now. <laughs> Thought it looked kind of like my friend from band. So I gave her an outfit that actually was something she would wear and her trumpet, of course. <laughs> Oh, I drew a man. That's cool. See, I always thought, I think I just get into the groove later on in my artistic journey where I just draw girls and I've only recently started getting back into drawing men, but it's nice to know that I did draw men on occasion. <laughs> oh, this I drew for a contest to try and win like sort of like a scholarship to get an art tablet. I didn't win, but I really like the way this turned out. I think I, I scanned this in and colored it digitally, but I really like this sketch. Oh, this is me and my original characters. I think I had like an art block, so I drew me behind an art block. <laughs> my characters were behind that. Oh, is this the first frog girl? Oh, <laughs> I've drawn her quite a few times and people really like her. So I think it's crazy that like I drew her so long ago in her cute little like bathing suit. <laughs> oh, and then like she has a character sheet. So we have her like close up glam shot, her action pose, and then her outfit shot. Another character I created, B 
basically because I wanted to use the color purple, I think. <laughs> she's like a barmaid or something. Look, she's dancing on the table. <laughs> ah, and then the glam shot as well. These eyes aren't bad. I kind of like those eyeballs. Oh, this is an interesting story. This is me waiting for my tablet to arrive. <laughs> um, I remember I waited like all day. I couldn't like physically do anything else. I was so excited to get this package and get my drawing tablet. It was my very first drawing tablet so I could draw digitally. It was the Wacom Intuos 3. I still use it. It's still what I use. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, look, here it is. It's me getting my tablet. <laughs> That's funny. That actually looks just like it. So now it's like way dirtier and not that shiny. <laughs> oh, we have some war kittens. I think I, these, these guys return in another sketchbook because they're so fun to draw. <laughs> oh, this one, like I had trouble drawing legs, so I erased it and then just drew her legs melting into a puddle. There's a tip for you. <laughs> Avoid drawing legs. Magna Girl. I actually drew a hand. That's crazy because if you didn't know, Magna Girl was like a character I created and I would put flames where her hands are because I couldn't draw hands. It was like my excuse to not draw hands was just to draw a flame. So I like that I took the initiative and drew a hand there. That's good job me. <laughs> this is some more hockey art. I really like how the E is eating the other E in the word feed. That's really funny. There's Magna Girl and like a friend she was supposed to have who had these like sparkle powers, but the sparkles could like become a physical thing and then you could ride on them or climb up them or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I really drew her much after this. <laughs> There's a Magna Girl character describing her powers and other attributes. Like she's been fighting crime since kindergarten. <laughs> some characters from her comic. So like some villains. Apparently she had a pet salamander. I do not remember that. Oh, look, a Magna Girl logo. <laughs> or it's like a, it's like the cover, I think like a comic book cover is what that's supposed to be because, yep, look, there's the comic, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I should read this. Should I read this? Mm. Oh, it starts with a narration. It was a regular day for Maggie. School was boring as ever. She was trying to get through her kindergarten lesson when she felt a disturbance. Something was going on in the second graders class and Maggie could feel it. Mrs. Hatchet, may I please have a hall pass? What is it? Um, er, bathroom? I'm having a hard time figuring out what the layout is. <laughs> oh, I think it starts with this, then this, then this one. Okay, Maggie quickly changed and she was on her way. What do you suppose that is? I'd better hurry. Purple is the color for me. Maybe someday I'll be. It's singing. <laughs> but will she make it? To be continued. Oh no, that Play-Doh monster has all of the second graders. <laughs> Look at this guy. Magna Girl, help! Leave those kids alone. Your flames can't hurt me, Magna Girl. I'm fireproof, he snickers. Oh, my powers are useless. Now that I have Magna Girl, I don't need those other kids. Oh, we just dropped them? <laughs> they left them? We just took her? That's funny. So I guess they were a diversion. At least she saved the kids. Ew, I got Play-Doh in my suit. Are you comfortable? Well, considering what this must look like, I'm feeling quite well and dry. I suppose you don't have any moisturizer on you or in you. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's being funny. Okay, what is that cauldron for? And what is that needle for? And what is that green liquid in the needle for? You know, you really need to do something about that hair, fella. Magna girl is mine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, she's thinking about the needle. <laughs> Just a cauldron with a random needle. <laughs> Original. Crackle, 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 crackle with Magna Girl, I will finally be able to teach the world that... Um, sorry to interrupt, but this Play-Doh, you know, I can hear my skin cracking. How dare you interrupt my first evil speech. For that, I will hereby name you my arch enemy. All right, sorry. I forgot how important that first evil speech thing is. Um, but can I get some moisturizer? The salt in this Play-Doh is killing me. Only if you get in the pot. Uh, I thought it was a cauldron. Just get in the pot. She did? <laughs> Couldn't she have just used her powers? Look, the Play-Doh guy's like asleep. He could have, uh, she could have won, right? <laughs> she just got in the pot. This really isn't going my way. I think it's funny that he's standing on a box that says this side up. So now that she's in the pot, she's just like, okay, now what? <laughs> now I will inject that's not spelled correctly. You're with the green serum, you see. The serum will then be running through your veins. When that happens, you will become weak and unable to use your powers. I will then tell everyone you are a fake and they will all believe me. <laughs> that's his plan. <laughs> uh, 
So what's this got to do with the pot? <laughs> she says, peeking over the top. It was the most evil looking chair that I could find. Jeesh, look at that mouth. Oh, that's so cute. He's leaning up against the incorrectly spelled word on the counter. That's so cute. Now, is there anything you need before the injection? No, I'm fine. Well, except for uh, I do have a math test before lunch. Well, great. How uh, much is this going to hurt exactly? Look how giant that needle is. It's just gonna go straight into her head. <laughs> Probably unbelievably horrible. And what is that supposed to feel like? This is, I think I know now. <laughs> Look at her pigtails. I like how expressive that is. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, now she's waking up. Oh, yawn. Where am I? Oh no, my flames aren't working. I guess the serum worked. Oh, and she's up above all these spikes. Look at all of them. I remember getting so lazy drawing these and at the end I was just like <laughs> Yikes, I'm not even going to try to fly down from here. Maybe I should jump. Well, luckily it looks like there's a mattress right by the door. So I think you should go for it, Maggie. Oh, she did. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Yep, really crazy. He wasted all those money on those spikes and I still got away. I hope he didn't pay to have them installed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's the end. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> oh, there's Magna Girl saving a shark from a net. I really like the flowiness of this. That's very, very expressive. I really like that. This was drawing up my friend and her chickens for her birthday. <laughs> Ooh, Zetterberg. I did drawing a lot of dudes in this sketchbook. I'm quite proud of myself. Here's a drawing of Osgood, who happens to be my favorite goalie. This is Al the Octopus. He's the mascot of the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> this apparently didn't turn out the way I wanted to. I kind of wish I had finished it because I want to know what it was. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be me and my friend, but I don't really remember. <laughs> this is uh, the Red Wings logo running over a penguin to get to the Stanley Cup because we were going against the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup Finals. Here's an octopus, I guess Al the Octopus, <laughs> smothering a penguin and holding onto the Stanley Cup. Well, this is Nicholas Lidstrom from the Detroit Red Wings. He's the captain of the team, defenseman, perfect human, that sort of thing. <laughs> wow, that is a very good logo. That looks just like it. Pretty sure I spent a long time on this. I had like a reference and I was like, <laughs> trying to get each little feather to look good. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? I don't know if you know what the logo looks like, but it looks like that. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I really like how there's like a little portrait in the background, but like there's so much like blank space and I was like, oh, I need to fill something. So I put that there. And then they're watching TV, probably hockey. <laughs> I don't know why she's looking up that way. Is she like annoyed with him or something? Or did I just not know what I was doing? <laughs> oh, this is around the time I was very obsessed with this artist named Gardenia Marvelli who she doesn't really have social media at this point. I don't know where she went. I met her on Mies. <laughs> she used to draw her Mies in like digital art and I was so obsessed with it. And she's actually the reason that I got a drawing tablet. So this was me sort of imitating her style because I wanted to be her. This again is sort of that style. She had a very long, like elongated, slim style, but it looked anatomically correct. And I was trying to imitate that with this one as well more of that style that I was trying to imitate. I think I did a pretty good job with that hand. I really do like this. It's kind of cute. Some more hockey stuff. <laughs> Penguins and octopuses. Octopi, sorry. <laughs> then here, well this is the last page, is Magna Girl in that Gardenia Marvelli style. What I really like about this sketchbook is that there's no like outside influence in the way that this sketchbook was never meant to be shown to anyone. So anything in it was just purely for me and <laughs> I, I, I like that about it and it's kind of weird sharing it with so many people, but <laughs> I think it's also really cool to share these sort of things with people because it goes to show you that everyone starts somewhere and the way your art is right now is probably exactly where it needs to be and you can always get better and you can always practice and you can always draw and then it's that creating process that is so much fun and yeah, so keep drawing guys. <laughs> If you're interested in seeing my art style evolve over, what, ooh, 2008 to today, I'll have a link to the playlist of all of my sketchbooks where you can, uh, yeah, watch that happen. <laughs> anyway, I do want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all next week. I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.